Do you want to learn how to create videos like this? Yes, of course it is possible to create YouTube Shorts and Instagram Reels with the Movavi Video Editor 2024. And it will give you some unique options compared to the native editors that will make your footage stand out. Let me show you how. By using some stunning footage I managed to capture of the beautiful Fredensborg castle one foggy morning during fall. Let's start by saving the project and give it a name. In this case, Fredensborg castle fall morning reel. We want to make sure that we edit uh, the video in a format that's suitable for vertical videos for social media. And we're gonna add some music that we're gonna sync up to the beat to spice everything up. Regarding the music, there's a wide selection of tracks available in the Movavi video editor. If there's no free beats that you like, you can purchase additional ones through the Movavi FX store subscription. Or simply just import a track from a service that you have already acquired. Just make sure that you own the rights for the music that you use in your reels before you publish, otherwise you can run into some really big problems. Let's start by adding our clips and music to the media bin. We can highlight everything and drop it into the timeline. You can see the music being added to the dedicated music track. And the video clips are nicely placed next to each other in the video track. These are raw clips captured in D-Log M by the DJI Air 3. So they need color grading to look good. And how you do that is already covered in another video. So let's focus on the process of creating a really cool drone reel. And I will tell you later how you can use custom LUTs to enhance the looks of your drone footage in the Movavi video editor. We need to make sure that the aspect is correct for the video. So we generate a vertical one. From the preview window, we can go and change it from the default 916 to 169. If you find the preview a little bit mushy and unsharp, you can under the three dots select the high res preview if your computer is capable of handling it. Next, we should scan through all the clips and make sure that they are scaled to match the vertical format so we don't have any black bars in the top or bottom. Because some of these clips that are included are normal horizontal video, we would have to zoom in on those to get rid of those black bars. And that is okay as long as the original clip is shot in 4K. You will be able to scale the footage to match the recommended resolution of your reel without too much uh, quality degradation. You can crop each clip individually by highlighting the clip and press the crop tool on the quick tools menu. To crop more than one clip, you can highlight all the horizontal clips in the timeline, hit the tools icon, open the crop tool and then click apply. Don't include the vertical clips in your selection as they might end up being misaligned. Now the clips will be cropped in one go without black bars. You need to go through each clip and make sure that it shows the part of the frame that you want in your final video. Adjust them if needed by selecting the clip, selecting the crop tool and then do the adjustments. If you already know that you're going to use the video for vertical videos, you might consider shooting them vertical, then you will save that step. But now you know how to do it either way. Time to focus on the audio track that's much longer than we need. You can hide the video track to make it easier for your computer by clicking this eye icon on the track beginning. If we zoom in on the timeline, you will be able to see the audio waveforms on the music track and this will give us an idea where you can cut to shorten it up. Because people have very short attention span, especially when watching your vertical videos, we aim to have around a 15 second clip, which means that we don't need the full track. You can watch the counter to see how much this is to give you an idea. Let's listen for a good part to use. Once you know what portion that you like, you can simply trim the music track by using the blade tool, remove the parts that you don't need, and then reposition the music track at the beginning of the timeline. You probably heard that it's quite custom that you add it to the beat. And this is actually quite simple when you're using the Movavi video editor. It has a built-in function that will auto-detect the beats in your music track, adding small markers to the top of the timeline. So highlight your music track, head over to the more tools option in the main menu, click on audio editing and select beat detection. Once you have beat detection open, let's click detect audio beats. Now if you look at the timeline, you can see little green beat markers being added in the top. We can use these markers to sync up our clips to the beat. By adjusting the slider, we can increase or decrease the time between each marker. 
You can use this to speed up the editing pace, but around 0.5 seconds, that's a good call giving you plenty of markers to work with. This part is challenging with native editors for YouTube, TikTok and Instagram as you have little to no control about how to edit to the beat. Unhide the video track and hide the audio track for now. I have the magnetic timeline enabled. That will make sure that all the clips are stacked against each other from the beginning of the timeline. Then I will use the blade tool to make a rough cut. This way I can go from one beat to another, cut and delete and everything will adjust accordingly. Don't spend too much time on this as this is just a rough cut. And things might not be in the order that you want. And you can simply reorganize that by dragging uh, the clips to the correct position. Then you will have to go through each clip and adjust them so it fits the beat. You can do that by trimming the beginning or the end of the video clip so it snaps into the position with the beat that you want. I will highly encourage you to play around with this and it might take a few times before you get it right. But then it's good that I have an offer for you as a subscriber of my channel where you can download the Movavi Video Editor as a trial and test it out seven days for free. If you decide to purchase the program after the trial period ends, you will get an additional 20% discount by using the code that I've provided in the description below. If you end up using the link that I've provided, you will get an additional effects channel pack as a gift on top of this as well. Once you have completed the edit, we can export our reel. So let's go over how you export a vertical video. If you click export, then advanced, we can adjust any of the export settings. The settings I've input here are the preferred video format for Instagram Reels, 1920 times 1080. If you click OK, you will return to the normal export window where you can see the estimated file size after export. You can now give your video a name and hit start to begin your export. The final result will look something like this once the computer has finished rendering. I hope you liked this video. If you did, then feel free to give it a like. If you didn't like it, feel free to press the dislike button twice. Thank you for watching and I'll be seeing you on the next one.